No. Y'all ready? 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 Y'all
you know, uh, uh, doing your first drug. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever that is. It's like doing your first drug. That experience like, oh, I'm one of the cool kids. I'm doing my first drug. You know, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. You're still here, right? So the Heartland Zombie Stars come in at my number three. And they could probably move. I'll be honest with you. They can move up to probably two or one, depending on how those jerseys actually look. You know what I mean? I can see the fan base for Heartland going crazy over these uh, zombie stars. It's just going crazy over these zombie stars. I like that a lot. That's really cool. I think that might have the best fan base right now. Uh, the fans can really eat that up really goodbye until that zombie star is up. Don't know what the zombie star is. Don't really care what the zombie star is. It's freaking awesome. I know that. At number two, again, they're killing it. And, and, and you know, these new teams is kind of shooting up. And they're killing it. Shout out to uh, number two, Rocky Mountain Monsters. That's just a freaking cool. Yo, that's just fire. That's just a fire logo. Fire color scheme. And, and and I gotta put them at number two because up until I seen this um this logo rebrand, I had no desire to go to no damn Rocky Mountain. There was nothing about the word Rocky and the word mountain that said, hmm, I think I wanna check that out. But the Rocky Mountain Monsters or Monstars, depending on how good they are this season, I can rock with that. You got the I in the middle of the O and it just it just brings a whole different vibe to Rocky Mountain, you know? You know, it's it bring dignity. It's just bringing dignity to the word dick. Yeah, and at number one, uh, still number one. It's been number one. It's probably still number one. Remain Gotham Fire. I know, it's just so spot on. Usually, you don't like spot on things. Um, usually, too on the nose. Usually goes. Usually does not work. But it's so spot on. Uh, and in this case, with the whole, it, it just has this. Um, you think about the coach Tim Bellardi. You know what I mean? He he's he's, you know, maybe he's the Batman and everybody the whole team is is the Robins. I don't know, you know. Or maybe he's, you know, I I don't know. But just to think about the whole Zen Master and the Gotham Five and the mystique of and the mystique of his new team coming into it because we don't know who's gonna be his guy and how he's gonna pull it off. I think it's just a perfect, it's just a perfect play on words and. Uh, with the perfect city and the perfect team, the perfect, the perfect coaching, and it's just a, it gives the whole mystique to that whole team coming into this uh, the next season. So Gotham Five is just so on the nose. Uh, so those are my top five. Shout out to uh, uh, Miami. I love the Yacht Club. That's really 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 cool as well. They didn't make it. If I had a number, they got. I, I'm not gonna lie. Indy Strikes kind of knocked them out. I really like the Miami Yacht Club though. I really 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 do. So I'm gonna put an asterisk. Because Miami Yacht Club is really, 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 really hard. It's really nice. Like, it's really nice. Like, it's really nice. So, those are my top five, guys. Keep it locked. We're going to keep this thing going. Uh, see you guys next time. Remember, do what you got to do. Do it right the first time. I'm out. Peace.